Have you ever seen a list of facts and you've got to memorize 20 of them for a test? You waste all that time memorizing those 20 facts, you get it 100% on the test and then it's gone for forever. You're gonna have to study the exact same way again, right? With Picmonic, you can entertain your way into those 20 facts and you can always just refer to a picture when you forget. The educators always struggle with complicated concepts and how to explain them and break them down in bites that students can handle. And this is a new tool that we can use to help do that successfully. It's the visuals, it's the stories, it's hearing someone's voice. Way, way, way more beneficial than just flipping through flashcards. It improved my grades by a ton. My first few tests, I was not doing well. And I started using this and they just shot up. Something that could be very helpful for nursing programs everywhere. It's something I wish I had as a student. Yes. <laughs>
the slope of the curve will become less and less until it's eventually stored as a long-term memory. And that's why Picmonic has incorporated space repetition algorithms into our learning system. So based on the progress from the students' quizzes, they're gonna be teed up with what they need to review when they need to review it. So now let's dive a little deeper with a demo from our art director, Johnny Antoni. Hey, thanks Marley. Now let's get a basic understanding of the Picmonic learning system with a quick tutorial. It's broken up into three different parts. Learn, quiz, and spaced repetition designed to get students to efficiently form lasting memories. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is click on search in the top left nav bar. Let's type in something we wanna know, like vitamin K. The cards are gonna populate on your right hand side and just click on the card you want. This will bring up the first step in the Picmonic learning system, learn. Just press the blue play button, sit back and start learning. Vitamin K is an important fat-soluble vitamin utilized in a variety of biochemical and hemostatic reactions, which is depicted in this picmonic by the Viking king trying to rule his kingdom. The first thing you'll hear is the educational audio, which takes the high-yield facts from this topic and relates them to the corresponding characters in the image. This will begin the development of your memory anchors. Now, when the educational audio ends, close your eyes, take a breath, now open your eyes and the story audio will begin. After decades of pillaging and plundering, the Viking king has decided to settle down and coalesce his dominion into one unified country. But on his quest for peace and economic stability... The story audio is going to tie all the characters together. So when you can remember one of them, you can remember all of them. Now that those memory anchors are planted, we begin step two of the Picmonic learning system, the quiz. Picmonic's quiz is designed to efficiently increase the ability to recreate memories you just formed by asking you short recall questions. Need a hint? Take a look at the picture, see if you can remember the character. Need to show character? Just click on character hint. Your progress is tracked in the quiz, taking into account the questions you got right and the questions you got wrong. From there, we get into step three of our process, spaced repetition. Picmonic intelligently tees you up with a daily quiz using spaced repetition algorithms. These algorithms factor in the time since you last engaged with the content, your quiz accuracy, if you use hints, and more. On your home screen, there's the daily quiz space repetition tile. All you have to do is hit the green button every time you come back in to get those memories secured in the long term. And that's the basic flow of the Picmonic learning system. Pretty cool, right? But this still begs the question, what do we cover and how do I find it? Well, let's go through a quick search tutorial and find out. There are two major navigation paths, search and browse. To search, just click on the spotlight and start typing. In search, you can sort your content by everything, where you'll see pathways and picmonics, or just pathways, or just picmonics. You will also be able to filter your options through the different pathways picmonic offers. Next is browse, where the content is organized in predefined sets that we call pathways. Let's start by exploring courses. Here you can browse through the predefined pathways, find the one you want, and click Explore. Then click Show to see the set inside the pathway, and Explore to list the picmonics. You can always move between the different sets of picmonics with the Previous and Next button. And to get back to where you came from, just go ahead and click on the breadcrumbs up top. Now after courses we have the Body Systems pathway, where you can explore the entire picmonic library through the different body systems. Next, you'll definitely want to check out books, so you can follow along page by page with the most popular up-to-date resources. When prepping for a big certification exam like Step 1 and 2 or the NCLEX for nursing, you can save time with these pre-made sets of high-yield picmonics. Next up, we have My Playlists and My Picmonics, which you can also find in the main nav bar. We'll go over these topics in greater detail in a later tutorial. If you're interested, check them out. Now here at the bottom, the Everything Pathway is going to mirror the Spotlight Search, bringing it all full circle. Picmonic Search is designed to be fast and efficient, so you'll be able to find what you need when you need it. Now let's throw it back to Marley to show you how you might implement Picmonic in your classroom. As an educator, there's many options we have to help you increase classroom engagement. For example, walk through a Picmonic during class, Create playlists based on your syllabus so your students can follow along. Download Picmonic characters and use them in your PowerPoint slides to make your lectures more exciting. 
And you can even go so far as to create your own picmonics so your unique teaching style and syllabus are covered. So getting started is really easy. First, you'll need to head to picmonic.com backslash educators and click on get your free access to fill out our super quick online form. Once that's done and you're approved, you'll receive an email containing your account information and login credentials. Then you're all set. And if you're interested in sharing this resource with your students, there's several ways we can work with you to help give your students access. We can provide you with a unique discount to give to your students. We can give up to six weeks of full free access so they can truly test out the Picmonic system. And we have bulk pricing options upon request. We are so excited to be working with educators and we really wanna make sure you're getting the most out of your free access. We're offering special training sessions for you or other faculty members. And these sessions can cover any part of the Picmonic platform and really help you unlock its full potential. And if you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to email us at feedback at picmonic.com. I've used it at two different universities now with different large groups of students and enjoyed it quite a bit. I think the students liked it. There was a lot of laughter, a lot of energy. Um, the graphics were incredible. It just kept my attention span focused in, in three minutes, basically. I got to learn a whole chapters worth of information. I was like, there's no way I'm going to learn these drugs. So I said, well, Picmonic works, let me try it. And when I tried it, I got every single quiz question right. And I thought it was so silly at the time, but holy crap, it got me the right answer. And that just kept happening over and over. In our Academic Student Support Center department, we promote active learning and Picmonic is exactly in alignment with what we're teaching. Seeing the software in action and actually seeing those light bulb moments with students where they suddenly realized they could memorize things quickly using a new tool. It opened their eyes to a new way of learning and we have to teach them how they learn and they learn like this. I am wearing my Picmonic shirt today, ripping <laughs> Picmonic because I think it's great. Picmonic rocks. <laughs> I love Pikmin. <laughs>